Hi, I'm Lisa Gilbert. I'm a, one of the uh, industry skills advisors and we look after the manufacturing sector. Kevin Reading, uh, Queensland Foreign Emergency Services. Pradeep Phillip, uh, Head of Deloitte Access Economics. My name's Lisa Wadigo and I'm from Iscariot Media. We're a uh, creative and training business. Paul Sloman with COP Australia. Looking forward just to seeing what the discussion points are today, see where the summer takes us as I suppose a planning and a starting point for the future of Queensland. I'm really looking forward to uh, interacting with a lot of other people with in-depth knowledge of that to, uh, to really work out how we can put a skilling solution together to drive Queensland forward. The key thing to securing a good future is to drive skills and the workforce. Not to see skills and workforce as something on the side, but actually as an economic driver to create the future we need. One of the things we're looking at is how do we develop our courses and our programs to develop students which are future ready and ready to go into the workforce. What we wanted to achieve was really pushing the initiative that an industry led for workforce training and upskilling, uh, supported by government, is a true way forward. I am optimistic. I think it's a huge opportunity for Queensland. I think Queensland is going to be the place to be for the next 10 to 15 years. We were just in the session on maximising the workforce. Um, it was really good because we were talking about a whole range of issues about how we can increase opportunities for diverse groups of people. So I think a takeaway for me is that as regions and even in the capital, we all have really interesting challenges that we face as industry groups, but you are looking for information, looking for support and really bringing some of that decision making back locally as well. It's important that regions have a voice helping them solve problems that are a statewide issue. seeing what's on offer across, um, across the workforce and seeing where that will take us uh, into 2030 and beyond I suppose. This is the, the foundation for the, for the future.